Oh my, tomatoes are $3.99 a pound. That's so high. Isn't that high? It seems so high. Oh, this is interminable. I demand to know why you insist on taking me everywhere you go. I mean, really, what, what could possibly happen if you left me home by myself? Hey, Brian, fleet cars are on sale. Yeah, too many chemicals. This year, I'm going to try a more natural alternative. Ah, sorry, Dr. Lang. I, I, I guess I'm nervous. This whole thing's a little weird. Ah, never you fear, laddie buck. I've been doing this all my life. You see, the reason your fleas are drawn to you is your kidney energy is being blocked by a dark chi, or what we call in my country, we Fung Chao Hu. Hey, Doc, you have to keep those two boxes right. Why? What do they say? I think we're through here. Hmm, instant stuffing or instant mashed potatoes? Oh, the choice is a... Clean up on aisle three. I got it. You know West, Chris? I love you, she hulk All right, son, I'm gonna need those two hams back. I, I don't have any hams. Lift up your shirt, son. I need an adult. I need an adult. You're, you're just a fat kid. <laughs> Sorry about that, fatty, fat, fatty. Dumb, he's just a fat kid. Aren't you fatty? You're just a big old fat kid. Here's some chocolate fat, so... Thanks. Brian, are you okay? Okay. Okay. I'm covered in fleas. Get a hold of yourself. Ow! Peter, you're supposed to hit Brian. Dad, I'm a Gigi. Out of my way, wide load. Fleas all over the house. There's only one. Learn the language of the fleas, earn their trust, then breed with their women. And in time, our differences will be forgotten. Call the damn exterminator! We got a sick. I can't. I... I just can't. With you, Logan, you look like hell. Flaherty, he just watched his wife and kid get carried away by seven million fire ants. I don't want to meet the man who looks good after that. Son of a bitch! You think I'd miss this part? I feel terrible about this whole thing. Look, why don't I just put us up at a nice hotel for a couple of days? Oh, that's a great idea, Ryan. It'll be like a little vacation. Well, you might want to bring some cash with you. Because, you know, some places don't take credit cards. Well, I think the ultraviolet scanning light will be the judge of that. I picked this up on Dateline from that yummy exoskeleton. Mm-hmm. Just as I thought. Seaman! Must be where Wilford Brimley was strangled by Bob Crane. Oh! <laughs> Don't be afraid. The turtle will keep you safe. Oh, for God's sake, I'm to entrust my life to a turtle? He's student. Oh! oh, this is marvelous. Hey, Chris, aren't you coming in? Uh, uh, can I swim with my shirt on? You can't swim with your shirt on. What, what are you hiding under your shirt? You have bruises? Did somebody hit you? Lois, what did you do to my shirt? Well, you keep your voice down. You're embarrassing here. What are you talking about? If I wanted to... Chris, why don't you want to take your shirt off? Because I'm fat. Honey, no one thinks you're fat. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You can't park your... This is my son. Oh, my apologies. Hey, Tom, he's not a van. Don't listen to him, Chris. I'm gonna go get you a soda. You wait here. I say, hello, you there. I'm ready to get out. Oh, my, what was that? Mr. Walter Jett. Stewie, are you ready to... Go away! You're not fat, Chris. You just come from a long line of husky griffin. Like your great-great-great-uncle Jabba the Griffin. Raja Nabadoa, Gola, Nipple Pinchy. Hey, Chris, time for some good old-fashioned exercise, like those guys are doing. Hey, say, Phineas. Great day to be doing and lifting our huge triangular iron weights. <laughs> Dad, I don't like running. The sound of my thighs scraping together hurts my ears. A Twinkie! <laughs> I'm gonna get you! Come on, you can do it. Feel a burn, Chris. Feel a burn. <laughs> the boy, all the way. <laughs> Meatloaf for us, and a very special, very delicious. Oh, I hate vegetables. Oh, it tastes like a monkey. This meatloaf is a symphony of flavor. Too bad you can't have some. It's practically orgasmic. Oh, yes! Oh! Oh! Yes! Yes! Dad, this says I gained weight. That's impossible. Take off your shirt. What the hell is that? Oh, bovine lummox! Oh, oh God! This is a very safe procedure, son. 
I'm like a green beret, you know. I sneak inside you and I skulk around like it's Vietnam or something. And I'm sneaking through the bush, you know. Fat like the fat's my buddies, stuck behind enemy lines. My buddies, I sneak out again. I'm very mysterious when I'm inside you, you know, like a, uh, like the wind, you know. Oh, good boy, Stewie. Clean plate. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. I got more of it on me than in me. It never gets old, Lois. Here's your dessert, sweetie. I'll eat it when I'm ready. I'm ready. Well, time for dessert, isn't it? Let's see. Big chocolate cake for Stewie and very tasty for big fat you. Bon appetit. Oh, and feel free to use my fork. I shan't be needing it. Watch me. That's it. Watch this. Oh, Stewie, stop eating like a little piggy. Down in your sweets, you're starting to get a little Buddha belly. Where have you been? Boy, Dad took me to a doctor to get the fat vacuumed out of my belly. What? I didn't do it. I'm just gonna stay on my diet and exercise. That was a very grown-up decision. What kind of lazy, narcissistic, principal moron would even consider doing something as unbelievably foolish as getting liposuction? Who, I ask you? Who? Hello? How? Ah, oh my God, it's finally happened. He's become so massive, he's collapsed himself like a neutron star. Can I get lipo too? Forget it, Meg. You can't just suck 200 pounds of fat out of yourself. It... Come on, Lois, I feel great dropping that kind of weight all at once. You remember how good you felt after you had Chris? And they're off. Well then, giddy up. Great to be thin. Yeah. You know, uh, there's, there's something I always wanted, Brian, but, uh, I, I could never do it because I was so heavy. You know, now now that I don't weigh so much, I, I think I can. Could you could could you help me do it, Brian? Sure, Peter, I'd be honored. I was wondering if I could put a little saddle on your back and ride you like a horsey. Oh, okay, okay. No, I no, I, I understand. It's too much. It's okay. It's, uh... ah, Peter, what's is... Yeah! Ah, yeah! The, the bones hey, in your ass! Come on! Ow, yeah! Ow, come on, yeah! come on. But, Mom, it could change my life. Meg, for the last time, you're not getting plastic surgery. Why not? It's totally safe. She's right, Lois. Plastic surgery is great. I was thinking about having Broderick take a look at my nose. It doesn't matter if your nose is a little bulbousy or... Huh. I think I know what you... Knock, knock. Hey, pal, you can't just walk in here without holy crap. It's... Dad, you're pretty. Like your girl. You look like a totally different person. Oh, this is crazy. Look in here with your chiseled jaw and your... My. I, you the way you were. Real anymore. You, you get a new buttock. I had to. My old one had a crack in it. Well, I couldn't be more angry with you. Oh. We should be embracing the things God gave us that a person's not as good as someone else because of the way they look. Help! Excuse me, sir. What is a handsome man like you doing waiting in line? I need an adult! I need an adult! <laughs> Warren Fredericks, Quahog Beautiful People's Club. Not in front. But in front of me. You haven't been beautiful very long, have you? Gorgeous guys like us don't have to wait in lines. People will do anything for a beautiful person. You know, come to think of it. Hi, I'm on a scavenger hunt. Human foot? Well, a rule, I would say no, but... So, uh, so this is what? This is for, like, a... Raul, please take this handsome gentleman's bags to his car. Hey, when your beautiful doors magically open. Actually, it opened because you stepped on that black rubber square. Hey, there's a lot of good-looking people here. Of course. This is the Quahog Beautiful People's Club. You're our newest member. Here's your introductory basket. Ferrari sunglasses and, of course, some pills. Movements smell like bakery-fresh cinnamon rolls. And Orson fall down? Shut up! Well, serves you right. You spent all that time trying to make Chris... Well, you know I would, but my doctor advised me against... Uh. What? What the... Stop it! Stop it! I'm getting dizzy! Ah! Boss! Peter, did you paste a new picture of yourself on our wedding porch? Yeah, I think it looks better. You pasted it over me. Better. Have you lost your mind? Well, somebody's jealous. Yeah, have you forgotten about Chris? He needs you to help him exercise. Yeah, he finally figured out how to catch the Twinkie. I I'm turning you into poo. Well, I'm going down to the beautiful people's club. Right. Lois, I, I can't say anymore. I I'm probably already into a, uh... Well, we... Okay, bye. Are you gonna take that? What? Oh, Brian, I was, uh, uh seeing if he, uh... That wasn't even a sentence. You were ogling, Peter, like a horny schoolgirl. Oh, I can't help it, him. Oh, does that make me a bad person? Yes. Yes, it does make you a bad person. Peter, good to see you. With me, I've got a lot of tall, statuesque... What's that? Oh, that's my son, Chris. Come in. <laughs> He's fat. Well, let me tell you something, buddy. If my son... But, Dad... Trust me, Chris, sometimes it's better to fit in. You're all stupid. See, they're gonna be looking for army... I'm 
hideous. You treat Chris that way. He's self-conscious about his weight. Well, what are you getting mad at me for? After all, he gets his fat from your jeans. By the way, I'm wearing. I hate what you've become. To go back to that doctor and have him suck the. Maybe I will. Put it on my feet and skate on Paul Bunyan. That doesn't make any sense. Doesn't have to. I'm beautiful. You're not welcome here. Wow, Chris, did you lose weight? Maybe. I, I've been working out. Oh, you look wicked skinny. I'm, like, jealous. I'm jealous of your mustache. I don't have a mustache. Oh, honey, it's fine. It makes you look distinguished. Now, Meg, I think all my children are beautiful. Damn you, ice cream. Come to my mouth. Dare you disobey me. What are you looking at, you, you infantile stupid? That's right. Damn you and son. You burned her. She is so jealous. Of course, I'm beautiful. I mean, look at me. Ah, how strange. Can't look away. Well, Mr. Griffin, the bandages are ready to come off. I should tell you it's a miracle that you're alive at all. Now I will take off this protective potato head mask. Peter, he looked like you. Especially to you. I'm sorry, Chris. Nope. 